All right, guys, so here we are. We got the boat off the trailer. Let me just give you a quick look at what I got to fix. So you can see I got my bunks bungeed down, a couple of them. Then I got this one here, it's tied down. And this one back here is zip tied down. So it was a pretty rough season last year. Things were starting to fall apart. So it's time to go ahead and replace those. So here we are, we're gonna get that started and I'll come back to you in a little bit. All right, so here we are. Just wanna quickly show you what we're gonna use for this. So we got a drill with the tip, a knife, just so I can cut back the carpeting that I did. Some needle nose pliers to help pull that up because I stapled it down. And some inch and a half lag screws. And then we're gonna go ahead and bolt those down and we should be good to go. And let me just give you a quick show here how bad it was. This one here was totally rotten. And you can see the end of it. And just as a side, you can just see I just stepped that right down and crushed it. And it was totally rotten. So it was time for a replacement. I don't recommend, you know, I, I don't recommend that you wait that long to do this. That was just poor care on my part. All right, just quickly want to show you how I'm cutting these down after I carpeted them. So I'm just cutting out little holes where they're going to bolt in so that I get nice good contact on the wood here to that surface here. That way the bulk of the carpet isn't in the way. All right, so here we are. I'll give you a quick look. It's all done. And it took me about a half an hour to go ahead and put these all down and probably an hour or so's prep work before I got here. Total cost probably somewhere around $60, $70, something around that. Um, so here it is. So if you're wondering how easy that is, it's really not that difficult. Uh, you do need a good drill to get the lag bolts in, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward.